again, and Happy New Year. It's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 9 by 12 canvas, a shovel, and some leftover paints that had white satin enamel in them. And they're going to have some more, probably just all throughout. I have a different kind of a plan right now, and I want some black in there too. And I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm kind of excited about the possibilities. So let me just cover my 9 by 12 with a nice little white layer of white paint and put my glasses back on my face that are right there. Oh, yes! I love to find my glasses when I look for them. Amazing I can still find anything when I have my glasses on, honestly. But this is the year I'm going to get my... Get my uh, eyes fixed, I hope. People say not to be scared about it, that it goes well and it's a big improvement, so I'm looking forward to it. Just need to find a nice eye doctor in Spring Hill. So if you live in Spring Hill and you know a nice eye doctor, proficient, adept, whatever, let me know. So this is my idea. My idea is to take one of my little saucers and rest my shovel in it, which is a perfect rest, and put my white satin enamel paint right into the shovel and use it in one long stripey ribbon just like dustpan pours usually go let it go right over the side and take my paint out of the way I don't know why I'm going to use that again so I'm not going to worry about it I've got some more paint if I want to use it this might be really fast and really simple, and I'm kind of hoping for both, actually. And I might, you never know what I might do from here, <laughs> but this is the way I'm starting. I'm going to use that edge catcher and push my paint right back over. I really kind of want some pink, you know. I also want that mark to go right off the edge so I can cover my canvas right there. Rock my edge catcher, so to scrape it up. Take what's left and put it on there with my finger. That looks like magnificent agate to me. So I'm really curious as to whether I can scrape my paint down out of my shovel and still get anything that looks like color that I like out of it. I'm gonna wipe off that spatula. I'll let that run the wrong way, and then come back again. Do I have any paint on there? That's not paint. That is, though. I can always scrape paint off my edge catcher. As long as I have paint to school. There's some from another painting. Cool. Add that right in. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until, until that moment. So what else do I want in there? Anything? Yeah, something. Something I can't have because it won't come out. Okay, I'm just going to take that. I meant to put a puddle of uh, the white satin enamel down right on the center of this. But I'm kind of having fun just playing with whatever right now. And I'm still experimenting all the time with what this will do for me. as far as compositions go, because it behaves differently, you know? I can pull some of that back up here. I'm just going to make a little, a cute little insignificant nothing, and I'm going to use my finger to cover that edge right now, because I'm here right now. I'm wondering what else I might like. You know what I want to do? I want to do what I said I was going to do. Put a puddle come out of both of those right there I think
that every time I add some new paint after a lot of paint has flowed already, then I have a certain weightiness that'll help it move faster than the paint I had on there. So I really don't want to lose the rest of that. But I think I'm probably in danger of losing some. Let's go the wrong way first and start to spread that out so I can bring what I've got back again. Got some great cells happening in the original, so I'm less worried about what I'm putting down now than watching those fantastic cells happen. Just spread right out. And knowing I can scrape up the paint I've got on my canvas, excuse me, on my edge catcher. Yep, I did. And I'm going to do it again, too. Because I suspect that the white satin enamel will help me make cells. And it does seem to be the case as I look at it. Now, don't blow away, Edge Catcher, please. So all this is just definitely me playing with and experimenting with paint. kind of want some copper in there just because there's already copper in there. But I'm loving this um, Masterminds. Two, yes. Purple and orange is, are opposites, but uh, used in moderation, you can get some really interesting stuff going. Waste not, want not, I always say. And what else? Maybe a little something else right on my skewer so I can strategically locate it and drag it through. That's kind of neat, but it definitely makes me want... Whoa, that's a strong breeze. Hopefully nothing decides to blow over here. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Well, I guess the chances are we're going to put something right there. So why don't I just bring it all the way around and see what I've got left for colors in my cup. And if I want to... use something else. I wonder if I can lead. The paint and have it flow down those fingers. Not really. Okay. <laughs> it was worth a shot. It's very different from the shovel than poured in ribbons from the cup. But it's also pretty cool. And I've got something covering my edge. And I'm going to let all that run right down the bottom and use my finger. Maybe put... I have a little more experimentation. I think I want some black in there too. Whoops. That was almost bad. <laughs> I'm not done by any stretch playing with this satin enamel and seeing what kind of effects I get. Because they seem to be tremendous. They're just beautiful. And I'm almost done with this. So I'm going to tell you guys, if you share my videos, it helps me out. I really need your thumbs up to keep me on YouTube. And uh, I appreciate when you do that. If you watch the videos longer, it helps my standing. The algorithm only understands longer watches. And thumbs up and comments, which reminds me, thank you for the wonderful comments. I appreciate them. They keep my morale boosted. Well, things are getting weirder and weirder and weirder for me at YouTube. And I'm not the only one. I know that. But um, a little bit here. 
a little bit there. And that's cool. That's different. And uh, I learned a few things. And that's the whole reason behind me experimenting with this white satin enamel is to learn new stuff. I'm going to give this a bit of a torch to release. Am I? No, not yet. To release the bubbles and the paint, I was going to say, and I will do that. And I like that black there, and I'm wondering if I'm absolutely done with the black. And I'm not. I did give up a lot of negative space, but I learned a lot by playing. And I could have some gold in there too, couldn't I? And I kind of want some. Can I get it, please? Yes? I've been enjoying adding these dots of color and then dragging through them. I'm pretty happy with all of that, except for that I loved how that blue looked. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm just endlessly filling in, but it's still pretty. I like it. And I've got a torch. bubbles and cut in the paint and hopefully make some patterns and I don't use any silicone in my paint mixture but my paint mixture is below the video along with Pinterest, Instagram and Twitter links where you can also find my Amazon, my link for my Amazon <laughs> art materials list. I like that blue so much with the purple and I'm just going to give myself permission to use it. I love you guys. I have no idea how many thousand or not there are of you, and uh, I love you dearly no matter what. It doesn't matter how many of you there are. I do sell my art. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I have a full month in January coming right up, but um, if you use the email below the video, you can get in touch with me for any reason. Questions are, avail are allowed. I do answer questions when I get a chance. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And no, I'm not done. Because <laughs> I like watching the cells pop, and I like watching the, uh, the different colors meld. And that's just pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Seeing I found a list and I'm going to see if there's anything on there. Oh, Teespring. I have clothing below the video with all over print t-shirts and leggings, all over print leggings. And um, I also have Facebook groups for, for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Appreciation group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery for fans and collectors is for fans and collector. collectors. Expressionist Art Studio Totes and More is a place you can find a link to shop now or just to go check out what I've been putting on the internet since 2013 on FineArtAmericanPixels.com So I kind of want a little tiny line of white there and I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I think it is. I think I should just trust myself. Yep, that was fun. Thank you for joining me. I think I said that. I'm going to weight that paper down and uh, not worry about what's not there. Oh. You can find a, 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 draw, a monthly drawing if you want to be a contributor to help keep the studio going. It's a $10 minimum, and uh, that video will be on the end screens of any video in my playlists. This month's is uh, 70, 18 by 24s, and it will show you what this month's prizes are. I'm just finding spots on the edges and adding color that matches what's right above it. And then every once in a while, I'll take a finger full and change up what's on the edges. Oh, I got some really, I got a bloom over here. That's pretty impressive. Cool. I'm hoping to do some blooming stuff. <laughs> Just like everybody else, because it's so beautiful, I can't resist. And uh, hopefully that'll be in January, if I get a chance, working around the students. I love you guys. I think I said Happy New Year. If I didn't, I want to say it now. Happy New Year. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.
Priscilla out, except for that. And anything else? <laughs> Maybe one more. Love, love, love white satin enamel from Deco Art. I am not a spokesperson for Deco Art, but I do love their products, so I highly recommend. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in on. Check the community board on my channel for tomorrow's video. I'm going to try and move that up. And or Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I post late at night for the next day. Sometimes I confuse people. Let me know what you think. If you've got suggestions, I'll listen. I don't necessarily say I'm going to take them, but um, if you've got stuff you'd like to have me try, I will uh, think about it. Take care. Bye for now. Priscilla out.